Hey all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are doing some AP Calculus. This is the uh, 2000, oops, we'll screen that. This is the 2011 uh, free response question, 2011, 2006 free response questions. Um, this was in the format was uh, three um, graphing calculator questions, but we'll just go through all of them. I got the graphing calculator up um, to work on this section of the exam. So we have let r be the shaded region bound by the graph y equals natural log of x. That's this one here. y equals x minus 2. This is a line here. Find the area of r. Okay. So for part a, uh, it's just the integral. So what, what I always do is I always want to do um, a representative slice. And the area of this rectangle... With, you see this rectangle is with the dx and the height of this rectangle is the height of L is the top function minus the bottom function so it's ln x minus x minus 2 dx okay so that's the area of the rectangles I want to do all the rectangles from there to there but I don't know the bounds the bounds are where they intersect so ln x equals x minus 2 so here's an area where I'm going to need the calculator because I don't know like how to. F so first I'm going to need to find my bounds, and then once I have the bounds, I'm going to be able to compute this integral. So this is where I'm going to need to use my graphing calculator. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. What what I would recommend you could either plot the two and then try to find the intersection, but I actually plot the difference. I find it easier to do this and to um, ln of x minus the quantity x minus 2. And the reason I do this is because it's easier to, um, I just need to find the x-intercepts. Uh, yeah, I just want to find where the zeros are. So I can do calculate 0. So instead of 0, and, and it's just, yeah, so I'm going to say I want this one to this one. So the first value is going to be 0.1586. That's the lower bound there. And then I want to calculate the other zero, or point of intersection. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. It's a matter of personal preference, to be honest. And the next one is 3.1462. So then I want to compute this integral. And um, let's see, does this thing have... function integral. Uh, I believe I put in, uh, I have to remember the order of order of the things I put in. I think I put the function in first. I might have this wrong and I might have to look this up. X minus two. And I'm going to integrate over X and I want to integrate from 0.1586 all the way to 3.1462 Wait. Uh okay. So for some reason I was in the graphing thing and apparently that made a difference. So ln x minus x minus 2 integrate over x from 0.1586 all the way to 3.1462. Okay. This is equal to 1.949. We'll leave it at that. Okay. B. Find the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated around the horizontal line y equals 3. So uh, y equals 3 is this line here. I could say it's up there. And so I look at my representative rectangle and then I figure out what the, um, what the, you know, it, it makes a disc, right? It sweeps out a disc. Disc with a hole in the center. And the larger radius is the distance from three. So it's whatever this Y value is, it's three minus this Y value. So my big R, the radius of the big disc is 
um, 3 minus ln x. The inner radius, that's the distance from here to the lower function, is equal to 3. Oh, actually, the outer radius is, sorry, the outer radius is all the way down to here. So that's 3 minus x minus 2. And the inner radius is the distance from 3, so that's 3 minus um, ln of x. And you might ask, um, how do I know it's 3 minus? Like, how do, how do I decide what the, dis the, the, the distances are? Well, this y value is going to be, l l l it's, it's easier to see it on the right side of the graph where it's positive. Um, because the, you take whatever this y value is, and this distance is 3 minus that, because this whole distance is 3. And this little distance is uh, this y value. So the remaining distance from there to there is 3 minus that. Okay, And so then we're going to do the integral of pi. So the area of this disk is um, big R squared minus little r squared. right? So that's the integral big R squared, which is 3 minus x minus 2 squared minus um, 3 minus ln x squared. And I'm going to integrate over the same region, 0.1586 and 3.1462. So we're going to use our calculator again. It's number 9. I should remember that. This is uh, pi. Where is my pi? Pi is over here. So I'm going to do 3 minus x minus 2. Note that I put a lot of parentheses because I want to make sure I do the order of operations correctly. Minus 3 minus natural log of x squared. Integrate over x from 0.1586 all the way to 3.1462. This ends up being 39.2804. Probably way too many decimal points, but we'll just leave it like that. C, write but do not evaluate an integral expression that can be used to find the volume of the solid generator when r is rotated about the y-axis. So this time, I'm going to rotate it around the y-axis. And there's two ways to do this. Uh, one, I like my representative rectangle. If it sweeps around the y-axis, it, it makes a shell, right? And so I want to find the volume of that shell. And I always derive this. I never really rem memorized the formula. If I unravel this shell, OK, so I unroll it. it. It unrolls into like this rectangle, this rectangular shape. The thickness of it is dx, right? Because it's like a really thin sheet, a really thin shell. The height of it is uh, the difference between these two y values. So the height is ln x minus x minus 2. And this length is 2 pi. It's, it's the circumference of the cylinder um, unrolled. And the, the, the distance, the r that we use, it's 2 pi r, right, is the circumference. Um, but the radius is the distance from the axis of rotation. And that's the x coordinate. OK, so this is my volume. My volume is 2 pi x times ln x minus x minus 2 dx. So that's the volume of a shell. And then I'm going to sum all the shells from 0.1586 all the way to 3.1462. And I do this in x because I'm, I'm integrating over x. So I want the x values there. So that would be my integral. You could do it by making it in the disk method in the y direction. Um, but I, I find it more convenient because I've already set everything up in the x direction to use the shell method. But some people might use, it's not really called the, the disk method. I guess it's a washer method because it'll be a hole. But um, yeah, so let's take a look at the uh, solutions here. Let's see. So we found the intersection points. The area is this, is 1.949. Is that what we had? 1.949, good. This is 34.198. Hmm. Why did I get 39? Volume is ln of x plus 3 squared. Shoot. 
Y equals negative three. Uh, I, don't know why. I don't know why I saw the positive the whole time. So let's, let's negative three. I did the bounds wrong. I did the order wrong. Let's see. Big R is the distance to the Y mark. Oh, because when I do it on negative three, this one is further away, right? The ln x is the further one away. Is. Okay, my bad on that one. So um, what I, this is supposed to be negative and negative, and I should put a negative in front. And so that's why it should have been 34.199. I just misread. I don't know why I saw y equals three. I just assumed it was y equals three. Okay, that was a silly mistake. Um, and the volume... Okay, so they did it. Uh, okay, they did it as um, in the y, which is not. You don't have to do. You can do the shell method. It's perfectly acceptable. So I'm pretty sure that the answer that I just gave you would have been uh, equally correct. Um, yeah, because I, I just did the shell method instead, which would have been perfectly acceptable. Um, but they they what they did in that in that solution is they they did it in this direction oops they did their slices in the y direction so then you have to convert all these equations in terms of y and then kind of do just like part b but it's fine this this would give this is this this i'm pretty sure um unless i made a small mistake um it would be a, a valid solution too Okay, so hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.